Okay, let's go crude. So we got uh, GDP this morning uh, at 8.30, about 10 more minutes. We do have uh, crude oil inventories every Wednesday at 10.30. That's two of the main news events here this morning. Let's go over crude. The, the, really the nice way how to trade, it's as simple as one, two, three when you trade all these markets. Um, we have a combination of charts here that we look at uh, that gives us entries based upon trend direction and the best way to look at this we look at our trend chart and this is our trend chart let's take a look at crude what we're doing today we are in a uptrend if you look at our trend chart let me show you how we read this you want to do the same thing every day this works in all futures all stocks currency etfs options doesn't matter what you look at it's the same exact setup every day what we have is we have this trend chart. That's the most important chart we look at, number one. The markets can only do two things. We can chop or we can trend. That's all we can do. So we know that we can only do two things. Either we're trending or we're in range. So how do we know if we're in a trend market and what's the best way to look at getting in the market with trend? Well, this is our, we have three Rinko bars right beside each other. This is the main one we look at first because this is the overall trend of the market, whether it be trending up, down, or sideways, this will tell us our bias for any particular market that we want to trade. The best way to do it is, I got three moving averages on there, and those moving averages are, we don't use them for crossovers, or we don't use moving averages for support and resistance, we use them for trend direction. The best way to see if you're in an uptrend or downtrend is to look and see if you're above all three or below all three MAs. Now, I have a built-in trend filter on these Renko bars, and they will let us know if I'm above all three MAs, which I have been, the body of the candle, meaning the solid green candle or solid red candle, will tell me if I'm in a hard uptrend or downtrend. Those are going to be your best trades, meaning if you look at the open versus close, that's the body of this green candle. We are not even closely even touching the smaller MA. That means the market is hard up. So that's our bias now. Our bias is to buy Fibonacci retracements. So that's why we got to find our bias right away. We, we got to look at this chart and say, hey, are, are we in an uptrend? Are we trending up or down? Meaning, are, are we above all three or below all three? Or are we flat? Meaning, if price was flat and we are sideways, this is trending down. This is what a trending down looks like. But if it's flat sideways and we are straddling, meaning the body of the candle is just straddling the market like this, if we are just sideways like this, where see the MAs, how they're just going back and forth each other, that's called chop. That's called range. And we don't want to trade any Fibonacci retracements with range. We want to trade market profile to our left with range. So if we are in trend, we can trade Fibonacci retracements, which is our two right charts, these arrows. If we are in chop like this, we log in and we're in chop, we are in range, we do not trade arrows at all. So there's a time and place to trade retracements and there's a time and place not to trade. Remember, the market can only do two things. Either we're in chop or range. If we're chop like this, then we take no arrows. We only trade market profile. And I have videos how to trade range. Just go to daytradingthefutures.com and you'll see how to trade range versus chop. I go over that, how to trade market profile over here. But if you're in trend like today, that's trend up. You don't have to trade market profile. You can just trade Fibonacci retracement arrows. So if I look over here on this chart, we've been in an uptrend. If I look at the body of the candle, the best way to see it is my smaller MA, when 90% of that candle closes on that small MA, 90% of the open versus close, that candle right there told you we are in an uptrend, right there. So we've been in an uptrend since 5.15 this morning. So for if we look at almost four hours of trading, we've been bias long on crude for four hours straight. There'll be some days where the entire session 
will be bias up or bias down. So you do not want to change your bias. You do not want to take any arrows against this overall trend chart. That's where counter trend traders get beat up. Like members know, when I was a guest speaker in Las Vegas, had over, over 5,500 traders there. The majority of them are counter trend traders. That's how we're going to catch those guys and gals. They're trading lagging indicators. We catch them by going against this overall tone or trend. We catch the wrongly positioned traders. You're catching the wrongly position because they're trying to jump in front of a runaway train. This train is running away from us. So what we do is we buy retracements. So the best way to do it is our last, our, our buy signals will happen off of these two charts. So there's your trend chart. Bias is up. We look at the, the next chart to it is our five Simrico chart. The best way to trade that is buy retracements with arrows if it comes down to our symmetry dots, meaning if, if, if we come down to symmetry, this is an uptrend, happened a couple days ago, and you re, we come down to symmetry dots and we're in an uptrend, if it touches within a couple ticks of symmetry and we get the arrow, then that's how you trade that chart. You want to be on the symmetry dots with the arrow. That's the only way we like to trade the five sim chart. We haven't had that because we broke through symmetry. You notice it hasn't had a deep retracement down to 32. So what do you do? If the market runs away from you, you can still get in retracements. How? This is the last retracement we had. We have one going on right now. When you first break through symmetry dots, you can trade the other chart, the three sim chart. We broke through symmetry here. That means the market should explode higher. We broke through symmetry here. means the market should explode higher. So then we can look at this chart over here, which is my smallest wrinkle bar. It's my 3 cent. That's how we trade this chart. This chart is used if we get no pullbacks on my 5 sim wrinkle bar. Because look, my trend chart is a 9 sim. That's the largest time frame we use as far as a wrinkle. This is my 5. 5 wrinkle bar. Here's my three. It's my smallest time frame is over here. Here's my three Rinko bar. The best time to look at that, you don't trade this three Rinko bar at all until you break through symmetry with nine sim trend direction. So you got to break through the five sim. So that was the, the, the last. You got a buy signal working right now with positive market delta right now too. Getting too close to news, so you won't take this one. This arrow you won't take. News is coming out here in two minutes. So you won't take this arrow because we don't like to trade into news, but if it was no news, you would get long right here also. So we had a nice little buy set up when that arrow fired right there this morning. That's a Fibonacci retracement. That's a sweet spot in the market. What we're going to do is confirm it with the chart right below it. That's market delta. So market delta, what we want to do is we want to get long as soon as it closes green market. I mean, you want to have a green market delta with that also. And market delta should be around three bars green after that to confirm that we're in an uptrend. So in other words, when we turn arrow here, you see we had a green market delta of 136. If there was no news coming out, we'd be long right here with a stop loss two ticks below the swing low at this level. But right now we got news coming out here in one minute. So if you did take that long buy signal this morning, you would obviously scale or exit into news coming up. So that's how we use it. We use these three charts in, in combination with each, with each other. Either it's going to be trend, we're going to be in a trend market, or we're going to be in chop. If we're trend, we use these two Rinko bars to we use the arrows. We trade arrows. Arrows on the five sim when they retrace the symmetry dots. If the market's too strong, like now, you let it break through the other side of symmetry, the red ones, and look for an arrow on the three sim. Don't make it difficult.